Helmuth Becker was born on August 12, 1902 in Altruppen in eastern Germany. He joined the army in 1920, aged 18 and left it in 1932 with the rank of Sergeant Major. He joined the SS in 1933, and in 1935 was transferred to the SS Totenkopfstandarte, stationed at the SS Hubungslager Dachau, which later became part of the SS Division Totenkopf. On 9 November 1940, Becker was promoted to SS Obersturmbannführer and commander of the SS Totenkopf Regiment. From 1942 to 1944 he held the rank of an SS Standartenführer and saw active duty in the Totenkopf Division. Early in 1944, he was transferred to SS Führungshauptamt, and in March the same year he assumed command of the 36th SS Panzergrenadier Regiment, SS Division Reichsführer SS in Italy. On 21 June, he was promoted to SS Oberführer and in July, commander of the 3rd SS Panzer Division Totenkopf. On October 1, 1944, he was promoted to SS Brigadeführer. In December the same year, the division was moved to Hungary for the battles around Budapest. The division crossed the Danube River to Vienna, attempting to surrender to the US forces. Under the terms of Germany's surrender, the surrender was refused and the unit was handed over to the Soviet Army. In November 1947, he was put on trial before a Soviet military court and sentenced to 25 years forced labor for war crimes. While in custody, Becker attempted to manufacture explosives, leading to a retrial. He was branded the personification of the brutal Landskunkts who formed the high-ranking officers of the Waffen-SS. He was convicted and executed on February 28, 1953. Becker proved himself a degenerate, according to official SS inquiries. On the Eastern Front, Becker raped Russian women in public and has appeared drunk on several occasions in the front lines as regimental commander. In spring 1943, he had organized prostitutes to come to his command center, and on April 20, 1943, he had all the artillery let loose a 10-minute salvo to celebrate the Führer's birthday. When he was stationed on the Western Front on Christmas 1942, he had organized an orgy for his regiment in the officer's casino. He had destroyed furniture, broken windows and even had a horse rode to death by fellow officers, 